Hi, welcome to this video on the functional overview introduction to Dynamics 365 Business Central. My name is Ben Rogers. I'm a 365 Business Central consultant. I'm just going to give you an overview of all the various areas of Business Central that can help meet your ERP needs. So we'll start with finance. Uh, Business Central offers full functionality with your general ledger. Various types of journals that you can post as well. So when you're posting on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, there are journals that will meet every requirement you might have, whether it's a reversing journal, just a standard journal, a variable journal, a fixed journal, deferrals, all types are available that will enable you to track your spend and income at various levels. Offers full general ledger budget functionality, so it can hold as many budgets as you like within the system. Uh, very, very easy to use. You can populate your budgets directly within Business Central or you can export an Excel sheet. You export your Excel sheet, fill out all of your budget rows and lines in Excel. You save it down, then you import it back in. You can import multiple times. So if you have to amend your budgets, you can overwrite and add and append. Um, you can also copy budgets and you can do forecasting as well. System also supports fixed assets. So if you have a fixed asset register and fixed asset requirements, you can add your fixed assets manually or you can add them via purchase invoices. Once your fixed assets are in the system, you've then got a very, very simple depreciation routine that enables you to post your depreciation directly into your ledgers at subclass level. So if you've got vehicles, equipment, buildings, you can attach all of those to different GL codes through a bit of configuration in the background. You can also run projections as well. So if you're adding assets and you want to check your depreciation before you have any impacts on the ledgers, you can run projections just to check how that depreciation looks as well. Dimensions are available. Dimensions are essentially um, an extension of the chart of accounts. I'm not going to go into too much detail in this video, but if you think about you post a transaction, you want to attach a cost center to it or a product or a project, dimensions enable you to do that. And you can attach those dimensions to standard journals, to your fixed asset depreciation transactions, to your budgets. So you can track dimension spend at a budget versus actual level as well. The system will enable you to do that. Also supports consolidation and intercompany. So if you have multiple companies, there is out of the box intercompany functionality that you can set up and configure to push and pull your intercompany transactions into different companies. If you have different chart of accounts across companies, that's absolutely fine as well. The system will configure a consolidated chart of accounts, which will pull all of your transactions for your intercompany transactions into a consolidated company and chart of accounts for reporting purposes as well. There's a full cash management system as well available um, out of the box within Business Central. It will support multiple bank accounts, whether that's NatWest, HSBC, Lloyds, if you're in Ireland, it, Bank of Ireland, Allied Irish Bank, and it offers a full payment run functionality as well, which is very, very intuitive, easy to use. You can run filters on a routine and it will pull through all of those open invoices for the filter parameters that you set. When you do the payment run, if you have EFT stroke backs requirements as well, we can configure an EFT data exchange definition that will download your backs file and enable you to import that into your bank. Again, if you're an Irish company, there is out of the box SEPA output as well available straight out of the box that you can configure with your bank accounts. Similarly for cash receipts, there are various ways of Posting your cash receipts, there's a cash receipt journal functionality, and there's also a register customer receipts functionality. So if you have multiple cash receipts that have been posted and you want to pay and apply in bulk, the register customer payments will enable you to do that. You can post multiple invoices as one line for a customer, or you can post them separately, completely up to you. Once your payment run has been done and your cash receipts have been posted, you've then got your bank account reconciliation. Business Central supports full bank account reconciliation. You're able to you are, you are able to download your bank statement, save it down as a CSV file. You can then import that bank statement directly into the system. There are two sides in the bank rec, so you see both sides in the same screen. On the left, you see your bank statement transactions. On the right, you see all of your bank transactions that have gone through the system. So it's very, very simple. At a visual level to match them off side by side. There's automated matching built in as well based on logic behind the system that will look at dates, descriptions, amounts. So it will automatically try and apply those based on the logic. So it makes it a lot more automated for you. Similarly, there's also a payment reconciliation journal function as well, and that enables you to automate the bank 
reconciliation a little bit more. So if there are rules depending on certain types of transactions on your bank account, those can be configured within the system. So, on, so it automatically posts and matches off those in your bank rec. Sales and receivables function also available, and it does offer a very light customer relationship management CRM function as well within the system. So that enables you to hold your customer information. You can also create your contacts and salespeople. And once you've got your contacts and salespeople configured, you can then create opportunities as well. So if you've got projects that you want to create an opportunity for and track, you are able to do that out of the box within the system. Once you've got your opportunity set up, you can then go and create quotes directly from those opportunities as well. Once the quotes are set up, there's a very seamless flow all from the same window if you need to, from your sales quote to your sales order, from your sales order to your invoice creation as well. There's also workflow functionality available as well. So if you have a process where you need hierarchies to approve up to a certain level, you can do that for orders, quotes, invoices, whichever suits your needs as well. You will also have the ability to email out documents. So you can email sales invoices, quotes, orders, customer statements. You can attach word templates into the body of your email. So you can attach some text that, you'll eat, that your customers will receive on receiving that email. You can embed invoice numbers, et cetera, into those emails as well. So it's fully supported out of the box email function available as well. And you also have custom report layouts. So if you have specific types of layouts that you would like to configure, there are there is a word template function within the system that will enable you to use those templates, add logos, add fields, take fields away, add extra text, and you can control that yourselves through the word template functionality. If you have different invoice layouts for different types of customer, that is supported as well, and those can be assigned on the custom cards. There is also reminder functionality as well. So if you have collections requirements where you want to send out reminder letters, so if you have customers 31 to 60 days over, you can send them a certain type of letter or a reminder, and that is fully supported in the system as well. You will also have the ability to put invoices on hold. So if you've got a dispute, you can go and put an invoice on hold. You can put a customer on hold. You can attach documents into invoices as well. So if you have some text or some notifications or documents you wish to attach, you can do that in most windows in Business Central as well. Similarly on purchase and payables, that will enable you to hold all of your vendor stroke supplier information, your vendor bank details if they've got fax requirements. And again, it supports a full purchase flow. So if you've got purchase quotes, you can then convert the quote to an order. You can convert the order to an invoice all from the same window, similarly as with sales as we discussed just now. Again, if you've got workflows, you can configure those out of the box. So if you have a hierarchy, you can again configure that to have a full approval process built within the system. And again, the custom report layouts is available as well. So if you have purchase orders for different types of vendor, you can configure those. You can create the layouts yourself. You can add, amend and change any invoices that you need to within the system. And again, there is a light credit control process. So if you need to put documents on hold, such as an invoice, you need to add in some notes to that invoice as to why it's on hold, that is fully supported within the system. If an invoice is on hold and you run your payment process routine, it will ignore that invoice and it will not appear for payment as well. And again, you can put vendors on hold for payment or invoices, whichever it might be, all fully supported within the system. Business Central also offers full inventory management as well. So you can set up your items, you can add prices for purchases or sales into the item card. You can set up inventory items, non-inventory items, service items, and there are various costing methods that you can select from as well. Item variants and attributes can be set up to suit your needs as well, as, along with serial and lot tracking. If you have special prices and discounts that you want to apply to items, that is fully supported as well. You can use date ranges, different prices, different options are available um, and discounts can be applied as well if you need to. You can set up assembly bill of materials, assembly orders, and if you do have stop take functionality, Business Central will support your stop taking needs as well. And for the more advanced um, inventory management types, if you have 
warehouse capabilities or requirements, it does support that as well. And that can be from a very basic level through to very advanced warehousing. So if there's if that's something that is of interest, again, you can contact us and we can talk through the options available out of the box with you. So thanks very much for listening. Um, if you have any interest in any of these modules or areas, if you go on our website, there will be more in-depth videos that will actually have a bit more of a look and feel within the system so you can get a bit more background and information on those areas. My name is Ben Rogers. Uh, I'm a Dynamics 365 Business Central, Business Central consultant, as I said. And if you would like to contact us, this is our email address, hello at advantage.co.uk. And if you want to go onto our website, it's www.advantage.co.uk. Plenty of content on there. Um, you can contact us through there. And as I said, if you want to delve in and look a bit further into some of these videos, they will be available on there as well. Thank you again for listening.